Who am I that the highest king would welcome me? I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who the sun sets free. Oh, it's free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I am. Free and last, He has ransomed me. His grace runs deep. While I was a slave to sin, Jesus died for me. Yes, He died for me. The sun sets free, oh it's free indeed I'm a child of God, yes I am In my Father's house, there's a place for me I'm a child of God, yes I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. I am who you say I am. Yes, I am who you say I am. Who the sun sets free. child of God, yes I am. In my Father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God, yes I am. In my Father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God, yes I am. In my Father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God, yes I am. I'd like to read to you our gospel reading to today, Matthew chapter 13, verses 24 to 30, and then verses 36 to 43. And it goes like this. He put another parable before them, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seeds in his field. But while his men were sleeping, his enemy came and sowed seeds among the wheat and went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared also. And the servants of the master of the house came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seeds in your field? How then? Does it have weeds? He said to them, An enemy has done this. So the servant said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he said, No, lest in gathering the weeds you root up the wheat along with them. Let both grow together while they harvest, and at the harvest time I will tell the, the reapers. Gather the weeds first and bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. 36. 
Then he left the crowds and went into the house. And his disciples came to him saying, Explain to us the parable of the weeds of the field. He answered, The one who sows the good seed is the Son of Man. The field is the world. And the good seed is the children of the kingdom. The weeds are the sons of the evil one. And the enemy who sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the close of the age. And the reapers are angels. Just as the weeds are gathered and burned with fire, so will it be at the close of the age. The Son of Man will send His angels and they will gather out of His kingdom all causes of sin and all lawbreakers and throw them into the fiery furnace. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. He was his. Let him hear. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of the risen Lord. Matthew 13, verse 24 to 20, and verse 36 to 43, tells us about the parable of the weeds and its interpretation. Romans chapter 8, verse 12 to 25, tells us about how we receive the spirit of adoption so that we become heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ. Our text today, Genesis chapter 28, verse 10 to verse 22, narrates to us the dream of Jacob while he slept in the city of Luz, which later called Bethel. Let us pray. Panginoon naman naming Diyos, kay po'y nagpupuri at sumasamba sa inyo at sana po sa pagkakataong ito, sa pagpapahayag ng inyong mensahe, ay niyo po sanang banal na espiritu ang siyang guwabay sa amin upang may pagkaloob namin ang karapat dapat na mag-glorify ng inyong dakilang pangalan. Ang latang tong aming dalangin sa pangalan ng aming Painong Isus na siya naming tanging tagapagligtas. Amen. Jacob and his unforgettable deception. Who is Jacob? There are interesting highlights of his life that we must go back to before we go to our main text in Genesis chapter 28, verse 10 to verse 22. First, in Genesis chapter 25, verse 19 to verse 27, we read that Jacob is the second-born son of Isaac and Rebekah and the twin brother of Esau, who came out of their mother's womb first. Second, in Genesis chapter 25, verse 29 to 34, we read that Jacob manipulated his older twin brother Esau and took advantage of his hunger so that Esau sold his birthright as the firstborn in exchange for bread and lentils too. Alam po ninyo kung sino ang firstborn kahit twins kayo ay siya ang tagapagmana ng mas malaking blessing at mas malaking kayamanan ng pamilya. Third, in Genesis chapter 27, verse 1 to verse 46, Jacob pretends to be Esau in order to be blessed by their father Isaac and therefore deceitfully rob Esau of his birthright and blessing. Fourth, in Genesis chapter 28 verse 1 to verse 5, upon the insinuation of Rebekah, Isaac sent Jacob to Padan Aram in order to escape the wrath of Esau and marry one of the daughters of Laban the brother of Rebekah. And so, it is during this part of his journey to Padan Aram that Jacob passed by the city of Luz. On the night that he was there, he found a place to sleep, and our text tells us that he had a dream. Jacob and his undeserved blessing. What is his dream about? It was actually a word of blessing from God. Ang tanong po natin, bakit siya pa ang pagpapalain? 
hindi ba siya ang nagnakaw ng blessing ng kanyang kapatid? Kapag tinatanong ko ito, kailangang tanungin ko din ng aking sarili. Bakit nagpapatuloy ang pagpapala ng Diyos sa aking buhay? Hindi ba ako ay isang makasalanan din tulad ni Jacob? Lahat po tayo ay hindi karapat dapat sa biyaya ng Diyos. Ngunit ang biyaya ng Diyos ay hindi natin nabibili o nakakamtan dahil tayo ay karapat dapat. Ang biyaya ng Diyos ay kanyang kabutihang loob sa ating lahat sa kabila ng katotohanan na tayo ay totoong hindi karapat dapat. Kaya ganito ang sinabi ni Apostol Pablo, sapagkat ang kabayaran ng kasalanan ay kamatayan. Ngunit ang paloob ng Diyos na walang bayad ay buhay na walang hanggan kay Kristo Jesus na Panginoon natin. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Sa kanyang panaginip, namamanhik manaog ang mga anghel ng Diyos sa isang hagdan na umaabot sa langit at pinagpala siya ng Diyos. Sinabi ng Diyos ang gayto. Ako ang Panginoon, ang Diyos ni Abraham na iyong ama at ang Diyos ni Isaac. Ang lupang kinahihigaan mo ay bibigay ko sa iyo at sa iyong binhi. Ang iyong binhi ay magiging parang alabok sa lupa at ikaw ay kakalat sa kanluran, silangan, hilaga at sa timog at ang lahat ng angkan sa lupa ay pagpapalain sa pamamagitan mo at ng iyong binhi. Alamin mo na ako ay kasama mo at ingatan kita saan ka man magpunta at ibabalik kita sa lupaing ito sapagkat hindi kita iiwan hanggang hindi ko nagagawa ang ipinangako ko sa iyo. Genesis chapter 28 verse 13 to 15 Ako ay kasama mo at ingatan kita saan ka man magpunta. Napakagandang pagpapala ang tinanggap ni Jacob mula sa Diyos. At pati ang kanyang mga anak at salin lahi ay pagpapalain ng Diyos dahil sa kanyang pagpapalang ito. Tayo din ay pinagpala bilang mga anak ng Diyos. At tulad ni Jacob, nagapagmana tayo ng mayamang biyaya ng Diyos bilang kanyang mga anak. Gayto pa ang sinasabi ng ating teksto sa Romans chapter 8 verse 16 to 17. At ang spirito mismo ang nagpapatotoo kasama ang ating spirito na tayo ay mga anak ng Diyos. At kung mga anak ay mga tagapagmana rin, mga tagapagmana ng Diyos at ang at mga asamang tagapagmana ni Kristo. Kung tunay ngang nagtitiis tayong kasama niya upang tayo iluwalhatiin namang kasama niya. Romans chapter 8 verse 16 to 17. Jacob and God's grace for us. But if Jacob received the undeserved blessing from God, then what about us? Especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, we have suffered much. In the Philippines, our COVID-19 positive cases reached more than 60,000 with almost 2,000 deaths. Nagkulang na ang mga hospital beds para sa mga pasyente. Maraming mga negosyo, kabilang na ang maraming pribadong basic at higher education institutions, ang kasulukuyang nalulugi at hindi magbubukas o tuluyang magsasara na. Maraming mga empleyado ang nawalan ng trabaho, kabilang na ang mga napakaraming empleyado ng ABS-CBN. Patuloy kong sinasabi sa sarili ko, patulad ng salin lahi ni Jacob, tulad ng mga anak ng Diyos na takapagmana ng Diyos, kahit tayo ay nagdadaan sa napakaraming pagdurusa at pagsubok. Ngayon, pati na ang mga kababayan nating nawalan at patuloy na mawawala ng hanap buhay. Huwag nating kalilimutan 
na tayo ay mga anak ng Diyos at mahal tayo ng Diyos. Yanong ni Nick Wojcik ang kanyang sarili ng maraming beses. Mahal ba siya ng Diyos? Anak ba siya ng Diyos? Kung ganon, bakit nag-suicide attempt siya noong siya ay sampung taong gulang? Bakit siya binubuli sa school noong siya ay bata pa? Bakit hindi siya normal sa kanyang pisikal na pangangatawan tulad ng ibang tao? May kabuluhan at kahalagan ba ang buhay niya? Ngunit noong tinanggap niya ang Panginoong sa Kristo bilang kanyang tagapagligtas, naranasan niya ang kakaibang palagayan, kalayaan, kapatawaran at kaligtasan. Nagsimula siyang maging evangelist noong 19 years old siya at hanggang ngayon siya ang president, CEO at founder ng Life Without Limbs Ministries. Noong 2016, naging evangelist at international speaker siya sa 57 countries in more than 3,000 talks to audiences that are as large as 110,000 people. More than 500,000 people heard and responded to his testimony about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is happily married to Keneo Meyahara, with whom he is blessed with two sons and two twin daughters. He is a painter, swimmer, skydiver, surfer, author, international evangelist, and motivational speaker. You see, Nick was born without arms and legs. His case is a rare congenital disease called Tetra Amelia Syndrome. Ngunit sa kabila ng kanyang pisikal na kapansanan, buhay na patutuo si Nick Voyechik ng dakilang pagliligtas ng ating Panginoong Yesus upang tayong lahat na makasalanan ay mapatawad, magbago, at mabuhay bilang mga anak ng Diyos. Sa Parable of the Weeds, ipinahayag ng Panginoong Yesus ang end-time prophecy tungkol sa lahat ng mga naligtas. Then the righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father, He who has ears. Let him hear. Matthew chapter 13, verse 43. Even today, we are being challenged as children of our Father in heaven to shine like the sun, to give honor and glory to God Almighty. Friends, like Jacob, we are certified sinners. But like Jacob, God wants us to receive His undeserved blessing. God wants us to live our lives with godly joy and fulfillment. And with the Holy Spirit guiding us, God wants us to live for love, hope, and faith, for truth and justice, as we proclaim our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as the Lord and Savior of the whole world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Panginoon naman naming Diyos, marami pong salamat sa buhay na patotoo ni Nick Wojcik na nagpapatibay ng mensahe sa amin ngayon na kahit kami makasalanan at pinagdaanan namin ang pinagdaanan ni Jacob ay binigay mo rin ang bukas na pintuan upang kami mapatawad, magsisi, magbago at maligtas tulad din ng inyong biyaya para kay Jacob. Sana po, Panginoon, patuloy kaming maging tapat sa pagpapahayag ng inyong undeserved blessing at ipapahayag din namin ng lahat ng inyong mga nilalang ang buong sangkatauhan ay inyong inaanyaya upang magsisi at manampal tayo sa aming Penong Isus at maliligtas 
tungo sa buhay na walang hanggan. Tulungan niyo kami sa paggabay ng inyong Holy Spirit na patuloy kaming magbago tungo sa kabanalan, sa katotohanan at katanungan na kaigay-igaya sa inyong harapan. Pinagpipray po namin ang lahat ng mga tao sa, in- sa mundo, ang inyong mga anak na nagsasuffer ngayon, nagdurusa ngayon dahil sa COVID-19 pandemic. Sana matukasan na ng mga dalubhasa ang gamot laban sa COVID-19 virus. Gabayan niyo po, tulungan po ninyo ang mga nawawalan ng trabaho. Pagalingin niyo po ang mga nagkakasakit. At tulungan niyo po ang mga frontliners sa iba't bang kategorya ng paglilingkod para sa bayan at para sa buong mundo. Pinagpipray po namin ang aming mga overseas Filipino workers at mga migrant workers sa buong mundo. Pinagpipay po namin ang inyong pagpapala at proteksyon sa Manila Episcopal Area, sa Panguna, ni Bishop Sere Francisco, sa Davao Episcopal Area, sa Panguna, ni Bishop Rudy Juan, at sa amin din po, sa Baguio Episcopal Area. At kami po ay patuloy na mag-aalay ng aming buhay na maglilingkod at sasamba sa inyo. Ang latang ito ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Isus na siya naming tanging tagapagligtas. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God is more than willing to forgive our sins. God is more than present in our struggles and pains. And God is more powerful to heal us from all diseases. Receive the blessings of the only one true God who revealed Himself as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit always eager to embrace us with His redeeming love, now and forevermore. Amen.